fail early, fail often, fail forward. You know, it's always a little bit frustrating to me when, when people have a negative relationship with failure is a massive part of being able to be successful. You have to get comfortable with failure. You have, you have to actually seek failure. Failure is where all of the lessons are. You know, when you go to the gym and you work out, you're actually seeking failure. You want to take your muscles to the point where you get to failure because that's where the, the adaptation is. That's where growth is. Successful people fail a lot. They fail a whole lot more than they succeed. They extract the lessons from the failure and they use that, the, the energy and they use the wisdom to come around to the next phase of success gotta take a shot you have to live at the edge of your capabilities you got to live where you're almost certain you're gonna fail the reason for practice practice is controlled failure you're getting to your limit getting to your limit getting to your limit you can't lift that you can't do that you until you get to the point that all of a sudden your body makes the adjustment and then you can do it failure uh, actually helps you to recognize the areas where you need to evolve. So fail early, fail often, fail. Following your dreams is a lonely, solitary, scary, dangerous pursuit. You can't wait for somebody to think you can do it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, they, they, cause they don't think you can do nothing they can. It's a lonely, scary, dangerous pursuit and you got to be willing to risk everything to become that seed of what you believe you be is in there everybody has dreams and and and, and as much as you you, you want to be able to listen a little bit because somebody's going to give you a gem but you nobody knows but you you can't get advice on what you should do with your life right nobody knows what you are like even even sometimes you don't really even know what you what you are you got to take your shot and it, it's like as much as you want people to agree and you want the people around you to be supporting your dreams and all it's not going to be like that all the time you got to do it alone and people will help you and when you when you get the ball rolling people will jump on but if you don't believe nobody else is going to believe people come along because your belief is so insane Greatness is not this uh, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, God-like feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very simple. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it. Yeah. Period. The separation of talent and skill is one of the, 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 the greatest misunderstood concepts for people who are trying to excel, who have dreams that want to do things. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. I've, I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented. Where I excel is ridiculous sickening work ethic you know while the other guy's sleeping I'm working while the other guy's eating I'm working there's no easy way around it no matter how talented you are your talent is going to fail you if you're not skilled mm -hmm. you know if you don't study if you don't work uh, really hard and dedicate yourself to being better every single day mm -hmm. you'll never be able to communicate with with people with your artistry the, the way that you want so the only thing that I see
is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. You might have more talent than me, you might be smarter than me, but if we get on the treadmill, there's two things. You're getting off first, yeah. or I'm gonna die.